Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Oxenfree. It's now 10 p.m., and we are looking for my stepbrother. Jonas, where are you? Where are you, Jonas? My name is Jonas. I'm carrying the world. Thanks for all you've shown us. I'm, I'm, I'm just climbing a wall, like a, like, like a badass assassin. Is that what this world's come to? I, I'm just this blue-haired teenager who can climb walls like a frickin' boss. Why, of course it has. Because <laughs> she's amazing. Is what she is. I actually do really like her as a main character. I, I like, I like, the, I like how, I like how she can take on all these like different personalities based on like player choice. And still seem like a very cool character. Yes. Jonas, are you alright? Shout if you're, like, bleeding or something. That would probably not be good. He probably wouldn't be able to shout if he was, like, profusely bleeding. Could you? I don't know. But I absolutely am enthralled with this game. It's been very difficult to not watch other people's content on this game. Any, any story game, really, because then you really lose that, that luster of the game for yourself. But I just, I, I, I love... I've been on. I've been trying to be very active on Tumblr, and I've been very working diligently to avoid this Why game. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here, or a pen? Well, maybe I don't know. Oh, the water is beautiful here. Just look how look how good she is at just everything. Oh, see a man about a dog. See a man about a dog. Oh, there's Jonas. Sure, will do. Hi, Jonas. Are you okay? Ah. Jesus, ah. you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought you should I be. I thought I heard somebody down here, but well, you didn't. You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this yeah, it's how beautiful. this happens. No, it's uh, it's beautiful. See? Oh, that's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed to That's a good guess, actually. <sighs> there was I... a light in here somewhere. I wouldn't have thought of that. Want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before Adventure! we Adventure! Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I yeah. mean, look, I'm if leading. it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Well, if it's too cool for school, we might not even have a chance to get the others. Oh, look at these badass crystals! Cave walls. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? What? What is wow, that thing? How is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light yeah. thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a... Like a rainbow or like a reflection of light? Is, that a, is Those, this a door? Um, exists, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? Uh, Armor Ray. Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish. It saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? I don't know. A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Cool. That is cool. Well, if I did, neat. I finally know what it feels like to catch a big trout. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. It's a good idea. Yeah, good idea. But Maybe I want to see what this dance is. Or twitch or something. Apart from the, um... Triangle? This is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. I was hoping there'd be clothes in that I could try on. Alright. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Whoa. Alex, really? Oh, oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... 
You? Are I, you doing this? I think so. Yeah. Should I keep going? Oh, I have to make it stronger. Oh. I can't even, like, what is... Whoa, what my screen looks all cool. Oh my god, it's making a triangle. Oh, hey, whoa. <laughs> this is getting weird. I love it. Jonas? Hi. Uh, hi? Sleepy. Time. Go. Everything. Fine. Holding. There. Same. This is weird! If, please. Love it. Possible. This is insane. Uh, who... Are, are you... Who are you on the... Listen. Bob Tail. Shame. Tail. Sleepy. Time. Time. Go. If, please. Possible. I, I, I don't know what you mean, so yeah. I can't... Bob Tail. Leave, children. Bye. <laughs> See you soon. Alex! What? Whoa. Oh, now we're underwater. What a strange turn of events. What was that falling? Alex. Alex! I hear you, but I don't see you. Where the hell are we? Alex? Are, here? <sighs> are you okay? Yeah. You alright? I thought you... Uh, I'm, uh... I'm fine. I'm good. We're good. Everyone, uh, we're good. You sure? I'm as sure as I think I'm gonna be. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. Wait, what's the sign here? says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder. Uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really right. prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. Have you ever had a moment where you're standing on a ledge and you just... You just want to just, like, jump off and just see what it's like? <laughs> like in Jurassic Park. No, let's just use the tower and try and phone somebody. I don't know. This is kind of exciting. We're adventuring! Right? Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. No! We just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... Yeah, we don't know what's going on, but it's like weird and crazy and magic, so... See, I really don't I mean, know. I need to know what those are. Know. I don't. Whatever you're gonna say, unless it's leave, I don't wanna at all. Oh, and... No Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that. I, I cut him off. Because the radio man who <laughs> watched bad. it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? That's uh, hilarious, I actually. That <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear that the first time. <laughs> Amazing. This is getting very until dawn on me, all of a sudden. Climbing a tower, trying to get find out something. I don't like where this is going. If until dawn taught me anything, it's that towers are very deadly. I mean, I didn't lose anybody at the tower. What followed after the tower, I I, I, I lost. I, I can't remember what the uh, the black kid's name. He died immediately after that. <laughs> that was a great game. I really want to play that again. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? They're probably being stupid. They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. <laughs> that does seem like something Ren would say. Wait, oh, that was a door. Right? Is that... Try door. Probably gotta try that window over there. It's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh yeah. Oh, why? Thank you. He's like a convict. <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. Oh, I do. So you can stop being so snobby, Mister. I went to jail, so I know how to lock, pick doors. Douchebag. 
He's just one of the Jonas brothers. I mean, his name is Jonas, and he's my stepbrother, so... Is... um... Is anyone there? It's... um... No. Dead. That didn't sound very Did get anyone? dead to me. I think someone was there, but I don't know. What is this? Generator, machinery. Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, Good. I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks, I guess. I didn't mean for that to sound so, like, kind of, like, snobby. <laughs> What's this? The fence should be off now. Great, but um, should don't Keyword. take offense if I want to throw. Ah! Jesus! Hello. Communications tower. <laughs> Alex. Alex, is that you? When? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu. I, you guys <laughs> went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the. <laughs> oh yeah, because he was the high. tower thing. <laughs> hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still funny. Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But what it's list? not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just Defcon Fuchsia level terrible. Ren, are you all right? Like physically? You can't right. call out, but he called no, us. Mentally, no, probably. I'm not all right. I mean, do I sound all right or do I sound not all right? I probably sound not all right, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like check-ins, maybe. What's Hold that? On. Wait, sound? Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello. No. Oh Jesus Christ, Alex! Why are you answering it? This it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa. And Jonas is okay. With. If you're gonna yell at me, goodbye, Clarissa. Oh, really? Fine. I'm at Fort Milner with a working intercom. If you care, God, goodbye, Alex. I just don't like her at all. Ren? Just pick me up, okay? Just we're gonna go get Ren. I'm really. <laughs> and then we're gonna leave. <laughs> not great, Mike. This is not a drill. This is. All right, look. Just hang tight. We're coming to get you, okay? Good. Great. I'm by the little bridge where they tore up all the train tracks, and it's just a uh, brush or. You know, yeah, because I know... Is that the phone again? Don't click over. Clarissa might need something. It's Clarissa. She can wait a second. It's fine. Look, I don't like Alex, her at all. Just, whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do, don't... Ah, oh, of course. And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. It's like the world is conspiring against us, I swear to God. Clarissa, you still there? Nope. She hung up too. Of course. So, uh, want a truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I know we were gonna go save Ren from his, uh, night terrors, or whatever, but if Clarissa's found an even semi-working line to the real world, maybe that's more important no. right now. I'm sure she can handle flipping the switch to talk all by herself. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can well, of course you are. The forest and nab Ren, I'm the protagonist of the game. The fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Oh. Oh, so the Good lord, this place is huge! Well... Is it huge, though? Okay, because we, we started Main Street, we went through the Discovery Cliffs, and we went down here, so we are in the Epiphany Fields. So, good lord, how am I supposed to even get there? Um, I guess we have to go through the woods, up into the bridge stand, through the campgrounds, and then up there. This map is huge! Save Ren. That, that's, that's what I want to do. How do I, how do I leave this? <laughs> boopity boop. 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 Um. Boop. 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 I, I I actually don't know what to do. There's a little glowing triangle there. Are those going to be like things I have to find? 
I, I don't know what to do, sports fans. For guided tour, turn the thing on. Do I just hit escape? Okay. I was worried right. escape would next to the game. Our duties have officially <laughs> commenced. To get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. We are badasses. Yeah. Righteous. <laughs> why, why are you panning in like that? There's no need to be panning in like that. Jonas, stop being weird. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have time for you, Jonas. You can be weird. I'm gonna leave. I, I do know there are, there are. I don't know, maybe if R is the right word, but there is something to collect in this game. I, I don't know exactly the depth or like the magnitude of the collecting, but I generally don't like collecting, so don't expect me to do that. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we want to go to the Epiphany Field. Yes. Okay. How are you doing? How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Yeah, to the woods. Uh, stuff's crazy, yeah, that's why. Everything's crazy, you know? So... Just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are. They are. How are you? Um, I can't see my options. Me? I'm great. I'm like a pog in its own... F a pig in its own filth is what I meant to say. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> great talk. <laughs> I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a... like a genuine forest. It's... What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy and that I'm outdoors. <laughs> so no. I just want to make sure, <laughs> you know, that we know where we're going. We of course I do. Yeah, of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow. Yes, I am the horse. Yeah, and in this particular scenario, I am the noble steed who will lead us merrily to grandmother's house. And grandmother being. <laughs> Ren. Being Ren. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. Oh, yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying Peabody to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. <laughs> pea My dad pork was pork. really happy to move here, you know. He said the schools were There's safe something over less here. knifings per capita. Uh, I guess I he never considered the danger I was, I was stuck. of whatever's happening right now. But, you know... Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was yeah, kidnapping kids. There's something here. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. It's terrifying. It's very hard to talk during games like this, because I don't want to cut them off, and at the same time, I still want to talk to you guys about, like, things. <laughs> this game is cool. I really like that she, like, people can still talk, and you can still actually do, like, actions and move at the same time. This Roosting tree. so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, on the tour of Edwards Island, um, an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're how? not impressed by that? It's a tree, so how not do I... really. No. I don't know how how to progress. Um, because this way, this way heads to the bridge stand. Um, is that where we want to go? How do I... Can I pull up the map? Is that... I, I, I'm just pressing keys at this point. I mean, I guess we just went through the woods, so... Yeah, I guess we'll just keep going. Okay. Whoa! Have you ever seen adventuring like this before? It's beautiful, scenic adventuring. Alright, there's a sign over there. So we might need to assess that real quick. Damn, she got hops! What is this? Goes back to the woods. Oh, that must be 
I, I really wish I had my map. Like, was that even my map? How do? How would I? Cause I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going. Do you have the map? Who has the map? Is the map even real? Well, let's just. I guess we'll. We'll go back to the woods. Can I go back to the woods? So he woods. Okay, I guess. I guess I can't go that way. I thought I could. It, it doesn't seem like it's letting me. Yeah. Couldn't I have just like climbed up that though from there? You would think. All right, what we got over here? This place is huge, by the way. Oh, there's a house up there. That's neat. Good um, lord. Why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made like just like a normal It's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Bridge Duh. ferry? Yeah, it's like an army thing or Look, I know there's rules about what you can build on protected land. The smallest so cemetery. Maybe this is all it's zoned for or something. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us. Ren needs so our help. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, let's just see if we got to take the um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. Shush, Jonas. Oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. Jonas, you're a little bitch sometimes, you know that? He just complains about everything. I wonder if anyone dies in this game. You know? What is this? Over here. Power transfer station 167. Can I go inside? Ooh. Okay, that's a little strange. Why would I they like how lock it? The, the, I mean, the building. somebody should have locked it. Um, maybe there's no need? Like there's nothing here to steal, or something? Alright, I'll go with that, just cause... What else am I gonna do? This lamp looks like a bong. Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. Love to. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. That's, so a, that's a good to ring do? to it, Supervisor Just Jonas. let me do it. That way, if something bad happens... You know. That's very sweet. <sighs> really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. Oh! It's your barbecue. Main switch. Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the flippy I flipped one. flipped the... Uh, it's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? Nope. <sighs> Might I, be, but... I don't know. I don't think that... For some that, reason, uh, it reminds me of the cave. Oh. Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. Oh, oh he... What was that? That's that's God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to Stop. <laughs> I am so tired of this funhouse <laughs> bull crap. <laughs> I'm not. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Did you see that thing though? That was creepy as balls. <laughs> Like, very on edge, too. So it was about time something happened. Well, like that. Oh, there's. Uh, was that there before? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't think so. Should I sit in it? This is nice. Alex? Are you alright? Ah! Alex! <laughs> <laughs> not. Brilliant. Funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look up. Whatever that. It was worth it. Yeah, because you're a little bitch. 
bitch, Jonas. <laughs> what a night, huh? What a night. What a night. Um, what does that mean? You said it first. You said it first. I'm just saying this. This isn't anybody's fault, you know. So do I it use the car to get to Jonas? Happened. Stop. If I hadn't brought the radio and hadn't tuned it into that. Whatever. No, don't say that. No! Well, actually, you saying that saves me from saying it, so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I kid, I kid. I think you should have a nice moment. Right. Come in Engine. Like barracuda. Barracudas Ooh. don't hum. But. Says you. Says you. Man. Everyone knows that barracudas are legendary for humming. My right, controls. Praise the Lord. To the campground! Perfect. All right, we're at well, the campground. Look at that! It didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. Yep. Yay! Woo! You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean that's what Ren made it sound like. Yeah. Well, I don't know about a lot, but a few times. Yeah, I can see this place being cool, like in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park, it's nice. you got the main street shop. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So I still can't you figure can out if those are like nice approval the, or like the dislikes. The conditions are right, you know? I don't know. But I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up this episode for today. I really like that the creepy element, the creepy element to the game is really starting to like get in. Because like I said in the first episode, like I knew that there was a supernatural element to the game, but it kind of like takes a little bit of warming up to get into it but now it's really starting to inch its way in there and I'm curious to see if since I chose like kind of like speaking of like until dawn earlier I'm curious to see if like my decision to come save Ren well not really save but find Ren over Clarissa has any kind of effect like if that'll put anything in motion um I, I mean I imagine like behaviorally yeah she's gonna be pissed <laughs> but I, I wonder if like by going to Ren if like something will happen to Clarissa that like we can't control anymore. I, I don't think it'll be interesting, but I'm really excited about this game. I, I just love the way it's progressing. I, I, I really like I said the art style I am absolutely bewildered with. I'm uh, totally enthralled into it. And it should it's just a nice pace of game. The the, the 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 ambience of the soundtrack is is great. The the actual design of the environment is beautiful. It's almost breathtaking. And the story is very... I, I like the fact that the story is casual. It really, really captures how, like, you know, teenagers w w would act. Well, you know, uh, I, I think they are a little mature for being on an island. Because, like, I, I think, like, I, I think a lot of people think that, like, teenagers, they're thinking, like, you know, 13, 14. But I'm thinking it, it's more along the lines of, like, 18 and 19. Because, I mean, it, it, you're like, like... They don't seem like they're so, like... They're not, like, young teens to the point where, like, they're absolutely freaking out while on the island. Like, you know, like, we're actually kind of, like, enjoying ourselves while still being kind of freaked out. Because you really don't know what's happening yet. So, it's really cool to see how you can take, like, all those different tones that you would expect and really merge them into what kind of story you want to have. So, that's really, really interesting. So, I really like the game a lot. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. So for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you guys so much again for watching this next episode of Oxen Free. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button and comment to me what you guys think of the game so far. And subscribe to the channel for more things coming up here in the future. If you guys want to see other things like this I've done, you can check out the annotations popping up here in a minute. So thank you guys so much again for watching. And I cannot wait to play video games with you next time. Bye-bye! Again. Different station too.